Patrick Ong is a talented freelance pianist. He usually plays for the Singapore Ballet Academy. But with the spread of COVID-19, his income has fallen dramatically. You know, being a performer has been hit uh, quite badly because you know you you can't get audiences, you can't play in the venue, you can't have people group together. There is a rush to find different job opportunities, but this is also a bad time to go job seeking. <laughs> Strict physical distancing rules in Singapore have also made life difficult for dance studios like this one. It organizes two major international festivals a year, attracting hundreds of overseas participants. Both events have been cancelled. Studio revenues are expected to fall around 80 percent, mainly due to class downsizing and party cancellations. My biggest worry is that the impact is protracted. Even if the government lifts the regulations and we don't have these social distancing measures, my worry is that people will be very slow and very reluctant to just dive back in straight away to whatever it was that they were doing before. As part of a 33 billion US dollar relief package, the Singaporean government has promised cash handouts for the self-employed. But for those in the arts sector, the temporary aid doesn't fix their long-term worries. Singapore's performance art scene was already facing challenges. Prices for theatre tickets haven't increased much in years, but production costs have gone up. And local players are vying for the same discerning audiences that want bigger and better venues, which often only international touring companies can afford. On top of that, they're also competing against streaming services. So Netflix is now making consumers face a choice of do I pay $200 to go watch a show or can I sit at home and, and watch Netflix and have all that entertainment on demand. And now, due to COVID-19, tickets aren't selling at all. And uncertainty about the future is making it impossible for companies to plan for the rest of the year. Many artists are trying to adapt through live streaming workshops and performances. Kendrick has gone back to teaching private lessons. But once the pandemic's over, he'll be eager to get back on the stage. Sandy Huang, TRT World, Singapore.